Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a blue-white Fortel deck in standard as part of the Kaldheim Early Access event that I was able to participate in courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Our blue-white Fortel deck of course features a ton of cards with the Fortel mechanic, meaning that we can pay two generic mana in our turn to put this card in exile, and then at a later turn we can cast the card for its Fortel cost, in a case of Cosmos Charger for two and a blue. Cosmos Charger is also one of the incentives to play this deck as we get access to a 3-3 Flash Flyer that says foretelling cards from our hand costs one generic mana less and can be done at any time in the opponent's turn as well. So we can potentially foretell some of our sorceries at instant speed in the opponent's turn for one less mana, which means that if we have two copies of Cosmos Charger in play, we can potentially foretell cards for free, which ends up saving a ton of mana. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck here. At 2 mana we've got some cheap interaction with Depart the Realm as a bounce spell. Can also foretell it for a single blue. And then a return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Then at 3 mana we've got two copies of Cosima, God of the Voyage, which has a ton of text. It's a 2-4 creature that in our following upkeep we can essentially exile. And then whenever we play a land we can decide whether to bring Cosima back or to put a voyage counter on it. And if we bring Cosima back we get to draw cards and put a plus one plus one counter on Cosima for each voyage counter on it. So that can potentially translate into a ton of extra cards in the late game. And we can also play this as a vehicle, the Omen Keel for two mana, which has a crew of just one, so we can easily crew it with just a 1-1 token. Then we've got two copies of Raven Form as a flexible removal spell, can exile an artifact or creature and turn it into a 1-1 bird token. Also as foretell for just a single blue. Full place it of Saw It Coming as our counter spell of choice. We can first pay two mana to exile it and then cast it out of exile for one on a blue, so a nice two mana counter spell in the late game. Two copies of Vega the Watcher as another payoff card for playing all these foretell cards, because whenever we cast a spell from anywhere other than our hand, we get to draw a card, which means that if we cast a spell out of exile, we get to draw a card as well. And then two copies of Nico Eris, one of the new planeswalkers in Kaldheim. X, a white and double blue for a 3 loyalty planeswalker that makes X shard tokens when it enters a battlefield and a shard token we can for 2 mana sacrifice and then scry 1 and draw a card and then the plus 1 gives one of our creatures evasion and makes it return to our hand if it deals damage the minus 1 deals 2 damage to target tapped creature equal to the number of cards we've drawn this turn which synergizes nicely with the shard tokens and then the minus one also makes an extra token. So Nico is a great mana sink that we can play for a ton of mana in the late game, making a lot of tokens, but it's still quite flexible since we can run it out early and use it as a cheap removal spell and combines nicely with other card or effects as well, especially with our Behold of the Multiverse, which also has foretell for one and a blue. So let's just scry two and then draw two cards. So we can potentially foretell it and then cast it for two mana, which then combines nicely with Nico to potentially take out some larger creatures as well. Then we've got our four copies of Cosmos Charger, which also plays nicely with our flash game plan of keeping up counter spells. And then the full playset of Starnheim Unleashed, which is one of the main win conditions in the deck, has Fertel for double X and white, creating X44 white angel warrior creature tokens with flying and vigilance, or we can just cast it for four mana, making a single one of those tokens. So not their great mana sync. Then we've got the full playset of Doomscar. This is another highlight of the Fertel mechanic. Can first pay two mana on turn two, and then on turn three we can potentially cast our sweeper here, destroying all creatures on the battlefield, and otherwise we just cast it later for five. And then at the top end of our curve we also have two copies of Alrun's Epiphany, a 7 mana time walk that also makes two 1-1 one, one bird creature tokens and can also foretell it for 6 mana. And then two copies of Emiria's Call as another win condition, making those angel tokens we all know by now. And then taking a look at the rest of the mana base, two copies of Castle Ardenvale as another mana sink, and then some nice Kaldheim basic lines, as well as the new blue-white pathway. And then for Temple of Epiphany and for Fabled Passage, plenty of lands here since our deck is quite mana hungry. Passage also has synergy with Cosima, giving us an extra voyage counter. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, this seems reasonable. Can go Fortel Charger on two, maybe play it on three. Oh, 
one of the main strengths, I guess, of the Fortel archetype is making it difficult for the opponent to know exactly what they need to play around. Can maybe even ambush the spirit here. So this can now turn into a 4-4, four, four, so no more ambush available. This is pretty scary, untapping all their lands when they have a spirit in play. So now we can foretell an opponent's turn too. Can block spirit because they just turn it into a 4 4. But we're about to foretell a bunch.
That was unfortunate. Time powered spirit. So now what? Can make some angel tokens. Can make two for five mana. It's not really gonna cut it here. At least we got to see the new animation here. Sadly, Nico only deals damage to tapped creatures. I mean, we probably need to top deck our sweeper here. Guess we'll jump so we can get in four damage. We did not draw our sweeper. I guess let's see if we behold, draw two, then Nico can minus one to kill the bear. Piffin is reasonable. Do we just keep both? what a perfect throw looks like. At least now we can behold and potentially draw into Doomscar and cast it. So all going face, could block like a three powered creature, take 12 down to one, they've already pumped this one. Oh no, this one they haven't pumped yet. So I guess I would be taking Xaxes if we blocked a 3-4. I guess we just prevent the most damage then. And then we're still planning to top deck Doomscar. Might as well Epiphany first here. I 
can get you past their defenses. Does that keep me alive? I guess I can minus. Yeah, you know what, maybe this is still fine. Found a Sternheim unleashed. So I probably need Cosima as a blocker. Could also play the Omen Kill. See how this plays out. Can crew Omen Kill with a Raven and still bounce another creature. Could still be on the Doomscar plan, but we're not super likely to find it now. Which one do we prefer bouncing here? Probably the three drop. And then I guess we unleash the angels. X equals three. Is there a better play? Well, that's a lot of brawl.
No real point in killing Narfi. Just comes back. Get in a shard. I'll throw you. Can activate castle to chump. Yeah, castle's probably better here. Still hoping to top deck our sweeper. Problem now is that Narfi just kills us. Although I guess never mind, this isn't a snow land. So had we drawn Doomscar, we could have still survived. I guess we still get one draw step. And I guess I should scry first. Thing that's game over, or is it? I guess we can Raven form Narfi, bounce the spirits, kill the Outrider. We've drawn three. I guess I can even kill Spirit if I wanted to. It's probably better. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. We've sank two shards tokens. If I play Charger for Tell for one mana, I can't cast it anymore. Well, our deck is putting up a fight. Got 
Sure. So we can play Charger and Castle. Next we'll make a million tokens. Well, it looked like we had to top deck Doomscar in a lot of different situations to survive. We didn't, and yet we're still here. more clearly now. That's a lot of shards. We are always learning, always growing. I'll leave one raven bank just in case. I guess I even get to use this. Gotta prepare for the next throw. All right. Well, haven't seen this one yet. So now we should be pretty safe. Next turn we can make all the angels. Could have also raven formed it I suppose. Alright, sweet. That was a close one. Sure.
Right, time to foretell a bunch. Do we Doomscar or second Starnheim? Doesn't seem like a matchup where we need to cast Doomscar right away. That's too bad. If we can hit a lance and then Epiphany with two angels in play, that's a pretty big game. Alright. <laughs> well, I guess that didn't quite pan out. Maybe we don't want to tap out, make them respect the counterspell. Although it's unlikely for us to have two counterspells considering they doomscarred us a million times. Dream Trawler, eh? Well, probably gonna wipe the board here. Play Vega after. So I can make them discard a card, and then we can doom scar anyways. And then, 
Yeah, we'll probably keep call in hand. So they have one Doom Scroll left in the deck. You can foretell and cast the same foretell card in the same turn. During your turn you may pay 2, and exile this card from your hand face down. Cast it on a later turn for its foretell cost. Later turn is important. Three. So I guess we can Nico for 5, which is decent. Or we can go a bit more aggro. Nico for just one, make another token, pass, charge run of turn. New worlds? I mean, I get to learn so many new. Gotta prepare for the next throw. Uh, minus one's only tamped creatures. So they're dead if we draw another Alruns. Epiphany here. All right, so yeah, I'll take another charger. So this one I can foretell for one, cast for three, which I guess might as well. That's fine. I was afraid of another Dream Trawler. In which case we would have had to sack the token, look for another counterspell. Alright. <laughs> and our opponent explodes. Sweet. So, in conclusion, blue-white foretell. Yeah, seems like an interesting deck, especially the turns where we get to play multiple copies of Cosmos Charger and 
foretell a bunch of cards for free feels pretty powerful. Not sure if this is the best home for Cosima, but we are playing a high land count, so it should be reasonable. And then between Nico and Cosima, we've got some powerful late game card draw engines. We've got Starnheim Unleashed as one of our main win conditions, alongside the Angels from Emirio's Call. Chargers can chip in. Vega hasn't been too impressive, not the best combo with Doomscar, which doesn't leave a whole lot of other foretell cards in the deck, so could easily see cutting it. The part the realm has been nice as a potential one mana bounce spell, and Nico has definitely impressed as a pretty flexible card, giving us both card draw and interaction. Plays well with Behold of the Multiverse as well. So, yeah, um, could easily see cutting Vega, maybe adding a few more typical blue white control cards, maybe your regular glass caskets at two mana if we need some cheap removal, maybe some other counter spells, or maybe Skyclave Apparition could make it into Yorion deck. Play 80 cards, it's easily feasible as well. But yeah, some of the foretell cards are pretty cool and just makes it difficult for the opponent to play against since they don't know if you foretold a Doomscar, a Sweeper, or could be the complete opposite, like a Counterspell. So it's just very difficult and taxing for the opponent to play against. And then sometimes they play around the wrong card and end up losing. Alright, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.